Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video in my painless answer series. Thank you to all of you that have been asking questions on the videos in this series. And where I can, I'm directing you to videos that already exist, or some of you are uh, giving me ideas of new videos that need updating, which is brilliant, or brand new topics. This one is to answer this question from a gentleman called Morris, who's asking about how you set up the warning messages in your DJI HD system. Now this is actually really easy in iNav. Couple of things before we get into it. First of all, I have a video on how to set up and configure your DJI system, how to activate it, how to bind the goggles and even the FPV controller all together and how to do that good stuff. Also I have another video on how to set it up on your individual model, how you select and um, connect the transmit and receive wires from the air unit to your flight controller and then what you need to do in your flight controller to get the telemetry sent to the air unit then go down to your goggles because for those of you that know this apologies but for those of you who don't the way the on-screen display works in the DJI goggles is completely different from how it works in analog what happens is the flight controller sends the telemetry to the air unit the air unit transmits it to your goggles and that telemetry is then read inside the goggles and it creates the on-screen display in the goggles themselves. Sadly, DJI still only support basic multi serial protocol stuff or MSP. Uh, come on DJI, pull your finger out. And secondly, and sadly, it doesn't also record that telemetry information in some way onto the SD card in the goggles, so uh, you can't play it back either. Uh, however, see my videos on Dashware on ways around that, so you can still have detail about you know height, speed, battery status and stuff. You can add gauges on top of the HD video you record. However, let's jump into answering Morris's particular question. So I've got a flight controller here on the bench that we're going to use for this. Uh, this is not actually installed in anything it's just uh, waiting for my next project but it's running iNav 2.6 and iNav 2.6 is what you need to have this in place now the stuff you need to do is in the CLI if you go into the iNav 2.6 readme notes uh, at the bottom of the new stuff there's three things there's username for messages workarounds and ESC temp source so those are the new three new things that are added. And the DJI username for messages will send you information about warnings, throttle speed efficiency, and trip distance values. And by default, it's turned on. I'm hoping that iNav continue to innovate around this and use this really clever workaround to give us information in the goggles that DJI uh, don't want us to have for some reason. So if we just go back into Configurator, if I type in... Uh, set or get DJI either will work. There are the default settings. DJI workarounds is set to one. That's the default MSP protocol. DJI username for messages is by default turned on, which is what we want. And the ESC temp source is set to ESC. Um, that's fine. So in the OSD, what we need to do is make sure that the craft name is selected and that you've dragged it into the place that's going to appear in your on-screen goggles where you need it to be. And that's all there is to it, really. It's pretty much set by default. All you have to do is drag the craft name, as I just showed, into the right place in the on-screen display, and then you should get those things appearing in the craft name field. Now, props to iNav for developing this and figuring a workaround to a limitation that DJI haven't coded yet. Again, come on, DJI. Uh, I believe it was something that was scheduled to be added to beta flight, but I think they haven't done it yet or they changed their minds. Hopefully they do. And in iNav 2.7, which is due hopefully relatively soon, uh, there are future enhancements to this and tricks and tweaks as well. So, Morris, hopefully that answers your question. It's dead easy. By default, it's kind of turned on. All you have to do is just enable the craft name in the on-screen display and drag it into the right position. Uh, although it seems a bit counterintuitive, the position of all the elements in the on-screen display tab in the configurator actually dictate how they all appear in the goggles. So it's worthwhile having your goggles connected and move things around because you'll see things move into position. And ideally you want them so they don't overlap with the default icons and status displays that you get inside the goggles as well. So if you have any more comments, questions or suggestions, do pop them in a comment down below. And if it needs it, I'll absolutely make another video.
Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.